types of air masses. What is air mass? An air mass is a very large body of air that has similar temperature and humidity in any horizontal direction. Each source region can also be either continental or maritime, and to represent this, we simply combine the category letters. These give us six total types of air masses on Earth, maritime arctic, maritime polar, maritime tropical, and continental arctic, continental polar, and continental tropical. Air mass classification Tropical maritime, it is mild and moist. In tropical continental, it is warm and dry. In polar maritime, it is cool and moist. In polar continental, it is cold and dry. In arctic maritime, it is cold and moist. Let's have another classification of air masses. In the last right column, we have the air mass. In the second right column, we have the abbreviation. At the center, we have the source. In the second left column, we have the temperature. In the last left column, we have the relative humidity. Now, the source of tropical maritime is the subtropical ocean areas. For instance, the Azores. Well, the tropical continental, we have the source, which is the subtropical de deserts, for instance, the Sahara. Well, the polar continental, the source is the temperate continental area, for instance, the North Europe. In the polar maritime, we have the source, which is the ocean areas, latitude of greater than 50 degree. In the Arctic, we have the Arctic ice cap. Now, the temperature in the tropical maritime is high. In the tropical continental, it is very high. In the polar continental, we have the varies with a season. In the polar maritime, it is low. In the Arctic, it is very low. And when we talk about the relative humidity, the tropical maritime is very high. The tropical continental, the you know, humidity is very low. In the polar continental, the relative humidity is low. In the polar maritime, it is high. In the Arctic, it is low. Characteristics of air masses. In the first column, we have the air mass. In the second column, we have the symbol. And in the last column, we have the characteristics or comments. In the continental Arctic, form exclusively in the Arctic and Antarctic regions and descend toward the equator. Bitterly cold and extremely dry in the winter, cool and dry during the summer. While in the continental polar, form over dry lands, cold and dry during the winter, mild and dry during the winter. While in the continental tropical, form over deserts and plains. In the United States, a flow into the U.S. out of Mexico often send a city or the continental tropical air mass northward. Typical hot and dry during the summer and mild and dry during the winter. In the maritime polar, marine type humidities with cool or cold weather typically provide for miserable, damp, gray days, mild to cold and humid with low stratus clouds. And precipitation is often the rule with maritime polar air masses. In the maritime tropical, hot, humid, sticky weather, a good example of when Maritime tropical air mass affect the United States is during the summer with the Bermuda high phenomena. A southerly flow of hot, humid, sticky weather is circulated northward into the U.S. Rarely well, maritime tropical air masses affected the U.S. during the winter. As a summary, we have the, this table. In the first column, we have this air mass name. In the second column, we have this abbreviation. In the third is where it forms. In the last column, we have this characteristic weather. Now in the maritime polar, it forms in a cold ocean and its characteristic is cool and humid. 
In maritime tropical, it forms in warm ocean, and its characteristics is warm and humid. In continental polar, it forms in cold land, and its characteristics is cool and dry. In continental tropical, it forms in warm land, and its characteristics is warm and dry. In continental Arctic, it forms in extreme north, and its characteristic is very cold and very dry. Thank you for watching.